Hey guys, today's video is kind of a companion piece to a short film called Hitters, which we had remastered and released last week. I'll put a link for it right here. Originally, we released it about four years ago, and at that time we made a little behind the scenes video that I thought you guys might get a kick out of seeing, so here it is. To get the best experience from the Hitters movie, you should watch it first before you watch this behind the scenes. So this Hitters Club is an evil organization with a very specific evil that they do. People pay a large amount of money to fulfill a particular evil fetish. And that is they go and punch somebody one time, one punch in the face. You know, it seemed pretty twisted, like that could be a little movie short. So we decided to make it. This was supposed to be a two day shoot and that just didn't work out. So we figured out how to do it in one. It was one really long day divided out into 10 segments. And this movie was almost shot um, chronologically. Usually you don't get to shoot it in, or in, in sequential order. So it was designed to be shot from noon to 9.30 p.m., but it went over, we knew it would. Uh, some of these shots, I only allowed 45 minutes for a complete setup and shooting. So we had a very ambitious schedule. So we ended up getting a lot of coverage at the beginning. The first shots that we were shooting, we got we got plenty of angles and um, lots of coverage. And then on some of the last shots, there are a few spots in there, we were just shooting a wide angle to make sure we had something to clip to before we did a few close-ups that we thought we were gonna use. Um, tried to make sure that the wide angle could have been used by itself if that's what we had to go with. Even though this was a just a short, I had the opportunity to know exactly where we were gonna be shooting, and so I went ahead in the computer and made a 3D model of the room we were gonna be shooting in. That way I could put my camera in there and look at camera angles and kind of have a real good idea of what I wanted to shoot and how I wanted to shoot it. Well, here's, here's the deal with the way this shoot went, is, is anymore there's so much more planning to the, than compared to the things we used to do. I mean, we were literally in the, in the block of what, eight or nine hours able to shoot that whole video and it was mapped out and, and perfectly laid out to where we know exactly when we're gonna be doing something. Um, but it was, it was a fun shoot and you know, when action was called, we went into action. We did what, what we needed to do, so. We were really lucky to have some, some great crew people show up to help um, to do the things that you just really need a pair of hands to do, um, whether it be holding the microphone or, um, you know, oh, that's it, holding the microphone is really the only important job. Another important thing was to make sure our actors and crew never got hungry or thirsty. We had a catering area. I wonder if we have a picture of that. Even when you have a tight schedule, sometimes it's really important to take a break, quit, step back, come back, and uh, be a little bit fresh again. Another really nice thing about this shoot is that we got to have some, some makeup by people that knew what they were doing. My wife did some of the makeup for um, Christian and then Rhiannon Parker did the uh, bruising and the blood. Uh, I was, she, she would did this really nice bruising that I don't know if we ever had any shots that were really, really showed the detail of just the broken blood vessels under the skin. You could really see it. All the blood from the shooting in the movie was done digitally. We didn't have any squibs or anything like that. Uh, we did have a little bit of blood that we put on the clothes after someone had been shot. Um, I don't really even know if that showed up much, but it's in there. One other thing I did pr to prepare was for the hits themselves. Um, I knew that I wanted to do more than just the having the camera over the shoulder where you just miss by a little bit and put in the sound effect and it sounds like you hit them. I wanted to do a few that were just Put the camera in the worst angle just side by side and swing to where if you miss it would show up on camera so i did some practice shots of that to make sure that i was going to be able to to do that safely all of the audio was done with shotgun mics we didn't do use any lapel mics for this we used a zoom h6 handy recorder and ran the um, boom mic into that so there was the carver character 
which I played. He was the biker guy that kind of ran the hitter club, hitters club that night. I knew I wanted him to wear like leather, look like a biker and uh, have tough guys beard or whatever. So uh, um, that was kind of fun to grow that. I kind of did some digital tests. I grew the beard and then tried to erase parts of it digitally to see what, what I actually wanted to shave into it the day that we were shooting. Acting and directing is a really challenging thing to do effectively, but I really wanted to be in it. So I was, I never got to hit anybody. This is in our costuming department. There's the gun holster. I don't even know how I wore this or how you would wear it. There was one point that Christian was on the ground and I was getting ready to like, I was getting to grab her to drag her to the other room and uh, my gun just falls out and it's falling like right before and I just caught it. That's a pretty heavy gun. It could have totally just hit her right in the head. Looks like it's just a funky brawl, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't quite wearing it right. Christian, I was very pleasantly surprised. Christian real easily stepped into the role and just her instincts, just her natural acting instincts were really good. Um, so I could kind of present the idea of what she was supposed to do and she could take that and run with it and present things that I hadn't thought of and um, just real effectively be Ash, be the character in this situation. Doc played Sherman and did quite a transformation to become Sherman. Ah, wasn't that big of a transformation. I absolutely hate Sherman. I, playing him just gave me a bad feeling all over. The inspiration I drew from that is years ago I dated this girl and her girlfriend wanted to take her boyfriend out for his birthday, so we went to this like gentleman's club in Fayetteville. The thing I remember is there was this guy who was sitting in like the, the shadow of of the corner of the, the back corner of the building watching these ugly chicks dance. He was wearing this just this crazy like tweed yellow and green plaid like jacket with a tie. I mean he looked he looked horrible. He just sat there the whole time just staring at the girls and he kept his hands under the table the entire time. And so as far as the way he moved, which he didn't move that much, but the way he looked and stuff like that, that was who I was pushing for. You know, this is a part that I've never done before. I've never done any kind of what I would call serious roles. And in order to do this, I had to go to a different place in my head, you know, in, in, in soul to bring that character out. And I think I did okay for the first time. I know he creeps me out just watching it. And of course, nobody wants to be my friend anymore. <laughs> Another thing working with, with Shane is that he gives us a little bit of creative freedom. You know what I mean? That the whole, if I, I, I don't think Sherman would have been Sherman unless I was allowed to insert just some little quirks of his own. Or, or phrases or, or sayings, you know. As far as, you know, the physical preparation, um, of course, we trashed my hair. I mean, I had, like, oil and grease in my hair for days after each shoot. Oh, and the, another physical aspect of it is those glasses that Sherman wore, or, like, the bottom glasses. I swear, every time I'd wear those for any amount of time afterwards, my vision was 20-20 across the board. I could see perfectly without glasses. So I, you know, I haven't haven't got it okayed with my eye doctor yet to start using those as a training exercise for my eyes, but I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> 